What's up guys, this is Jake. Today I wanna to do a quick review on my brand new heated massage recliner. Now I'm really excited to talk about this one. I just got this recliner myself and I am pumped about it. So I wanna give you a look at the recliner and then I wanna answer a question that a lot of people are asking and you really, really need to know before you actually buy this yourself. So let's look at the recliner itself. Obviously, I have the black one right here. A few very obvious things you can look at is we have our normal armrest. We have cup holders here on both sides. These cup holders actually do come out. We have uh, the bottom part of it, which is a little hard to open up for this. Sorry if my head's out of the video a little bit, is kind of a rounded bottom that allows the chair to turn. So we have a 360 degree turn if you want. Now, one thing I like about that is uh, it's actually kind of a firm turn. So it does turn, but it's not like you sit in it and you're just going to start spinning. Um, so you can turn it, but it's not so much that you're just gonna like be turning when you don't want to. Um, next thing is right here, instead of on the side like you would on some recliners, there's a little pull piece right here, which is what's going to pull the legs up here or the uh, leg rest up here. Now, when you have the chair all the way down like this, you actually have a rocking uh, chair that rocks really well, which I'm a big fan of. Really, really like this piece of it. Once you pull the legs out, it still rocks a little bit. You're going to lose some of that. Um, now, let me actually show you guys the side right here. You're going to see um, a small little pocket. This is where obviously you can keep the remote for the massage function and the heater um, and obviously anything else that you need to. And I just found my instructions I was looking for earlier. Uh, right here is the power cord for it. This is simply where you're gonna plug it in so you can use the control. So guys, I am pumped about this chair. Um, a couple quick notes. One, the chair is smaller, which depending on what you're looking for, could be good or bad, right? For me, this was perfect. I actually have, uh, I'm putting this in a smaller room. And because of that, I had a bigger chair there before it took up way too much space. Um, really, it was just irritating to have there. I liked the chair, it just didn't fit in the space. Having a slightly smaller one, again, you can see I'm 5'11". Um, to me, this is a really, really, really good size chair. Um, it's not that it's like tight and that I'm here. I'm comfortable in it. Um, really, really like that aspect of it. So it's really good uh, in a smaller room. It's not gonna take up as much space as some other chairs that I've seen, especially recliners. Now, here's what I really wanna dive into. Um, there's really only been one question that I've seen a lot of people ask about this, or really the only negative comment I've seen on it at all. Um, actually, before I do that, let me end with that. The last thing, or well, the other thing I need to hit is the actual remote itself. So it's got two functions that are both heat and uh and massage now i should have thought about this a little better you're not going to be able to see that well and i'm sorry uh but what you have up here is the power function the heat function uh you have both a low and a high intensity there are a handful of modes and then you can switch between what part of the body you want it on whether you want it back uh, on your butt your legs whatever uh, where you want the massage function to be going and then you have a timer down here I have really liked the heat function. Now, one thing I do want to say here is when I, when it says massage, don't think about like a, I don't know, like if you went to like a Brookstone store and sat in a $4,000 chair that has like the kneading massage, this is more of like a, a vibrate that you're going to get from this. Um, I really do like it. I mean, it's really, really cool. Um, but don't expect like a kneading, heavy massage. Think more of, of like a vibration in these different spots. Um, okay, so now let's get to the question that I see people asking. Um, and let me try to explain this uh, in a way that makes sense. And it'll make more sense once you actually get it. So this comes uh, disassembled, so it'll, you'll need to put it together. I mean, I am not handy at all. I was slightly concerned about this. I thought I was actually going to have to call my buddy. Um, I put it together in like 30, 40 minutes while watching TV. Um, again, really bad at that, and it wasn't an issue for me. So that's it, it's really not complicated. Just follow the instructions. Um, they're super step-by-step. -step. In fact, I could show them to you, but it's just not really worth the time. Um, it's do this, do this, do this, do this, and the share gets put together. So the one question I see people asking, or the one issue that they're talking about, is that there is a labeling issue 
on this side and that side, the right and left um, arm pieces, whatever you want to call them. So what happens, and you might want to refer back to this when you actually get it, uh, this is, you actually put this together. It's two simple um, metal bar pieces. You get a screw and they just literally are tightened together. Very simple. So they're labeled one's right, one's left. After you put them together, there is a decorative cover and then this leather, leather S. I'm not sure this is real leather or not, but um, I think it is. The leather uh, that goes over top of the decorative color. So um, obviously that the bar set is labeled right, right labeled uh, left. The decorative, right, left. And then this one that you actually see, right and left. Um, when you get to the decorative color, they are mislabeled. So all you're going to need to do is when you get to the decorative color, uh, one, switch them. And then this one will be labeled correctly because the decorative cover is the one that's on top. So that's literally the only issue. Uh, as long as you know that, I can't imagine you not being like really, really enjoying the chair. That's the only negative comment I've seen anyone have about it. So guys, if you're looking for a really good piece of furniture, I'm pumped about this. I've had it for maybe a week now. It's taken a little while to do this review. Um, but it's gotten to the point it's slightly hard to get up because I'm enjoying it so much. So I know this video is long. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, and it helps you make a wise buying decision if this is the right recliner for you.